Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariah and sorry if my voice sounds weird but I'm sick. Today's topic is the murder of Jessica Dal. Sorry, I think her name is Dal Gius. Before getting into today's topic, any comments left on this video need to be respectful because Jessica's loved ones will be viewing it. Any disrespectful comments will be removed. There will be a petition for lengthening the sentence of Paul Marsh, Jessica's killer, in the comment section of this video. This petition was started by Jessica's aunt, Carrie. This video is mostly research-based, but some of my thoughts will be included. My thought. To be honest, when I read about what happened to Jessica, it infuriated me and sickened me. For the research in this video, I used one article to gather information for this topic. Trigger warning, this case involves some physical abuse of a child. If anyone can't watch the video for that reason, I totally understand. Another thought that I had, I decided to cover this case because I, I didn't feel that Jessica or her loved ones got the justice that they deserved. The article that I read was titled, Thug Jailed for 11 Years After Killing a 3-Year-Old Autistic Girl from the Express website. This, this case happened in the UK or the United Kingdom. Residential home worker Paul Marsh, who had beaten Jessica Dong Gietlish, I'm sorry if I said her last name wrong, previously, claimed that he found her slumped behind the banister on December 21st, 2019. She was airlifted from her home in Folkestone, Kent, to King's College Hospital, London, but died on but sorry, but died on Christmas Eve from fatal brain injuries. Marsh, 27, was convicted of manslaughter, which he got nine years for manslaughter, and for, and also um, he got two years for child cruelty at a previous hearing in Maidstone Crown Court. Mr. Justice Kavanaugh told him the jury were. The jury were convinced that you solely were responsible for the previous injuries that you tried to pass off as caused by the child herself. The judge said Marsh of St sorry of, of Sandgate Kent was angry and threw the child roughly, which resulted in her hitting her head against the hard surface. But he accepted Marsh had hadn't meant to kill the youngster or cause her serious injury. My thought here was, to be honest, when I read the statement above, I definitely was appalled because the judge was putting no blame or responsibility on Marsh who caused Jessica's death. Marsh was the person who is solely responsible for Jessica's death. Marsh told people Jessica, was, who, who was autistic, had fallen down the stairs. However, medical experts found her injuries were more likely to have been caused by impact, such as being thrown against a, a, the headboard or the side of her bed. The jury heard how Marsh had told Jessica's mother there was nothing wrong with the toddler when, he, when she found bruises on her in the weeks before her death. In an impact statement, the, the heartbroken mother said, I, sh I sincerely hope that the justice system recognizes the atrocity this monster committed against a small, helpless little girl who did not understand what was happening. Mr. Justice Kavanaugh said of Jessica, her problems, and in particular, her lack of awareness of danger, meant that she was particularly vulnerable, even more so than most three-year-olds. Detective Chief Inspector Neil Kim Kimball said, I hope that the jury's verdicts and the sentence handed down today gave Jessica's relatives some sense of closure as they continued to mourn her tragic death. And my thought was, I believe that if if Marsh gets out of jail, or sorry, get us out of prison in 11 years, he will be given another opportunity, opportunity to do this again. And this cannot be allowed to happen. Once again, I did this video to, to get justice for Jessica and her loved ones. As always, I'm open to any comments you have, sorry, any suggestions you have for any future top, top video topics. 
please let me know what they are in the comment section below or on my Twitter page. And my Twitter handle is at Burley Morani. It's spelled for you. At B U R L E Y M A R I H. This the next my next video will be on what happened to. Sorry, what happened to Harvey? P, sorry, Harvey. Parker. I'm doing this video to get answers and justice for Harvey and his loved ones. I hope that everyone's continuing to stay safe. I'll post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you think may like can help get justice for this family. Um, if you want to be notified when I do any live any live streams or uploading new content, you're going to hit the bell icon and under the bell icon, you're going to want to select the all options. And I will post my notes if I didn't say that already. I'm sorry. I will post my notes in the comment section for anyone who needs them. Um, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.